Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. Uh, last time we stepped into the light of Alfheim for what appeared to be moments, but I guess a long time had passed, and while the time was a passing, Atreus did all that. Hey, your bow. Hold it out. Mm, brazen. No hiding in the shadows anymore. Into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. That stairway's blocked. There's a white crystal ahead. Just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place. Atreus thinks that Kratos was gone for. Well, they don't actually say, but long enough for Atreus to use the bow and arrow and Kratos' axe to massacre a lot of Dark Elves who attacked. Hours, maybe? Days? Might be a little bit long. Uh, but we have a new way of traversing the environment now, and... We can even interact with some of those light crystals we saw way earlier on in the game. It's very Metroidvania-y how this plays out. Uh, all this. Like, we've seen a ton of other things that we cannot interact with yet. Uh, just in our short journey through about... Maybe a quarter of the way through the game so far? Maybe a third? Something like that? You've plenty left to go. And you know, as excited as I am to once again talk about how we're beating up nightmares... Devil May Cry is back! Devil May Cry is back! I know. I know. I know. You've been leaving the comments in all of the... all of my videos that passed since yesterday. Say, hey Dave! Devil May Cry! I know. Awesome Metal Wolf Chaos! Y'all. Metal Wolf Chaos! 14 years after it was released is finally coming to the West. Ah! My voice can't go high enough for the squeals I want to make. Oh, I can't believe that clipped him. Uh, E3 of Dreams is currently ongoing for me. E3 of Dave's Dreams. <laughs> Nero's got a metal arm now? Because somebody ripped his Devil Bringer off? Also, he's got an aesthetic going. He's got a capital A aesthetic and not just a Dante light coat. Nero seems real cool. He's coming into his own. Really excited about it. The monster design looks so good. Let us make our way back up. He's doing witch time shit with his mechanical arm? Old man Dante's there now? With his scraggly white beard? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to contain myself. Try to contain all this Devil May Cry and, and Metal Wolf fight. Metal Wolf! Y'all buy Metal Wolf RXD. What What the fuck is it called? XD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal Wolf Chaos XD. Buy that. Buy it. Took 14 years for this thing to come west. Did I not purchase this upgrade? I thought I did. Alright. Also, check out the Metal Wolf Chaos LP. <laughs> but not before you're done with this episode. We'll be getting back into the into the into the meaty goodness of this one soon. Uh, also grab this permafrost where we're here and grinding storm. This one's real fun. It's a bit like an attack from a game in a series that I've been really hyped about this episode. A little bit like a round trip. Oh, Atreus, you're so fucking good. Yeah, there it is. That also does a, a pretty good job locking enemies down. Plus, it's just fun to do. Uh, and all that input is is holding R1 uh, mid string. Getting ourselves a little bit extra hack silver here. By the way, Hacksilver is a really cool currency for this game to be using, uh, because it's a real thing. 
Uh, the origin of the name is literally silverware, or other bits and bobs of silver that are hacked up or like boiled into ingots, but uh, it's, it's generally like things that you would get as plunder. You know, raiding a village, throw all the silverware from the homes into a big sack and maybe a boil, uh, a maybe boil it down as bullion and trade that. It's makeshift currency. So as we go through all these areas just looting and pillaging, we're not picking up coins or bars of gold or ingots or whatever. We're just getting, we're just getting uh, hacked up silverware, hack silver. Also, we can't equip this new runic attack that we just got, Strike of the Ute Guard. Uh, because our current one, that Whirlwind, is on cooldown. This also gives us a new uh, puzzle mechanic. So they can slowly increase the complexity of the puzzles just a bit. Here. Boy. From the light we are born into the light we return, the light is the river of souls, transforming us, consuming us, uh, transcending life and death. The light is the truth. The light is all. Wow, the light sounds pretty cool there. You gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. <laughs> uh, I love it because it's such a dad thing to say. The blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. How do you expect me to reach it? Well, first, we're going to place the light crystal there and activate it with the light arrows. Uh, also, you might notice Atreus occasionally shouting Leosta. I believe that just means light. Now that we have the light arrows for him. They also do way more stun than his regular arrows. Instead of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here? If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it. Ooh, no, that got real squirrely. I can't, I, I just strafed off the edge. Uh, let's give that one another shot. So, the third bell is there. This one's actually a little bit trickier than it looks, even though everything seems at first glance to be in such close proximity. You actually have a much tighter window for this one. I was probably only about a second away from losing that. And this is yet another horn of blood mead. I believe there are two apples here and two horns of blood mead. Uh, so we have all four of the, the Nornir chests. Let's, while I remember, equip the Strike of Utgard. Kind of a frontal shockwave attack. Now we're going to come down, grab the Light Crystal once again. And uh, put it in the other pedestal. And while we were up there before, we also destroyed the vines. So we will activate this. And now we still need to boost Atreus up. Also, that song in the Devil May Cry 5 trailer, uh, Devil Trigger, what does this mean? is real good. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see, stupid rails. Yeah, our whole so, it's a door after all. long trip into the light of Alfheim really killed this kid's mood and enthusiasm. Unfortunately. Right. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? 
Like, he just shows up like a curmudgeon cantankerous old man just to yell at you. I hate that guy. Yeah, Trey is, yeah. Yas. Do you want to stab the general of the you Dark Elves? Yas. Do you see any other way? No. Then. On uh, going back underground, we're now just kind of tracing our steps back. And we'll eventually get back to the boat and out of Alfheim on the final legs of this one. There are a couple of new rooms available to us and chests full of small pocket of hack silver. There isn't a way back up from here, you know. I know. Oh no, he was talking about the direction that I picked. Oh shit. Oops, I was going the wrong way just because I saw light. Instead of following the compass. Really dramatic lighting shift here. Uh, because the roof is closing in on us. The roof of the Thunderdome. There is light. Make do. Yeah, our only source of light here is from the the glowing bifrost infused with the light of Alfheim. Ah, you! Putting the axe away. We got these new high stun arrows. And we're gonna go bare fist. Really rack that stun up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, no. No, I want. Mmm. One big boy stun. Big boy stun. There we go. I'm not sure if we've seen this animation yet. Possibly. Mmm. Next snap's real, real vicious. And another. Yes, 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 no. I just really wanna wanna snatch her over here with a metal arm, perhaps. Oh, I want Demo Make Cry 5 real bad. Oh, it looks real, real good. And that song in that trailer slaps. It's good. If you don't care about Devil May Cry at all, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be insufferable this episode. That's just how the universe works out sometimes. Sometimes Dave get real hype for Thing E3 right before recording and during it. <laughs> Use your ears. Adapt. Oh, what a dick. What a dick! That's really, really one of the most mean-spirited things Kratos has said to Atreus, I feel like. Like, it's not even tough love or, or being harsh for the sake of, of teaching him a hard lesson. It's really just rude. Wow, that room went well. Strike of Ukard's pretty good. Now, the only real... Th advantage to be gained here uh, is the spoils of war which we can sell for hack silver along with a little XP um, but the real reason we come in here is for this light crystal which we are the crystal oh the last one? if need be <laughs> it's so petty and catty and passive aggressive and you really don't get to see Kratos be passive aggressive all that often uh, but we're Gonna just lug this thing all the way. Really? My friend. My friend. Where did you even come from? And why? Yes, choke him. Good. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. That was weird. Like I was saying, we are going to lug this all the way to the opposite end of the room, across the other light bridge, uh, so we can do some optional stuff. I hear another one. Oh, I'm just going to drop it right away. Not give him the chance. Uh, that's that new upgrade that we got earlier on in the episode. Uh, that's the R2 version of the parry follow-up. Uh, it causes a ground bounce, which is really useful, instead of uh, knocking enemies away from you. 
Okay, so this activates the light so we can actually turn these and see what runes are on the door. We just have to match them up. There's one. Good. We need the E. Or we needed the E, rather. I don't think we need that. Don't need the R. Oh, what? This isn't timed, right? Oh, I see. You have a set number of moves you can make, and that's denoted uh, by the pips on the uh, the northwest and the, the northeast uh, walls. So I'm not doing it this time, but let's see. Let's try from the left and see if we can decrease the number of moves that we need. Because I think I've been turning it three times just to get to the, the rune that we need on each side. This one should also be good on the left. Yep. That's not one we need. That is. That's E. And I'm not sure. We can't check which one's going to be. Which one's going to come up next. Okay. There we go. Got it that time. And our reward runic scaled pauldrons. Oh, they're real ugly. But the numbers go up so good, though. And they're not as ugly as the. Arm guards that we got before that I turned down for fashion's sake. For fashion of no god of fashion. What am I talking about? We will have to replace these uh, toot sweet because they are still pretty bad looking. They just make Kratos look like he's contracted some kind of skin disease, where he's turning part Argonian. Uh, we also needed this light crystal from the optional puzzle room just now. So we're going to lug this baby around for just a little bit longer, I think. <laughs> Halfway across the room again and down. And in the meantime, I can just kind of sing Devil Trigger to myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot. I'm in a good ass mood today. Actually, recording this right after Ubisoft's conference, Finally. which was pretty good. Oh wait, we don't need to do this at all. Is there a quick way over here? Ah. Uh? No. No, so I have to cross. I have to cross over and then you go left. General Rom. Uh, so I think... The boss fight here with General Dark Elf is quite disappointing. Because he's not that special and they've built him up. Uh, he's been, you know, looming off in the distance with Kratos pointing at him like he's the fucking WrestleMania sign for a while now, for the entirety of this level. He's always been there. And the camera's always been framing him to be something special, but he's really not. He's not more, he's not much more than a dark elf with a health bar. With a long health bar, I should say. This status effect is pretty cool, though. Uh, the blindness or the darkness status effect that reduces your light radius to pretty much a few feet in front of you or a few feet around you. That's about the coolest part of the fight, though. It's also kind of a waste of a really decent design. I think some of the boss fights are the weaker aspects of this game. Uh, it's got a couple of really good dramatic ones, it, and it starts off just right. And it ends very well as well. 
Uh, like, it starts off with Stranger, and that's such a good first impression to make, and maybe the most important uh, first boss impression. Uh, a couple of the, the middle ones, like this, are a bit weak. And then it does wind up reusing a lot of mini-bosses as well. Still. Inoffensive, at least. No, that can't be. What did you say? That we made a grave mistake. I'm sure it'll be fine. Can we help you? Yeah! Wrath of the Wolf. So now we get a new mechanic for Atreus, uh, which are his runic summons. I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? This is so earned. Atreus just getting uh, uh, shitty and, and pissy and up in Kratos' face. Do you remember? Critical of him. Yeah. Like this attitude that Atreus develops towards the end of Alfheim is so justified Boy, and so this? earned. Boy, what's that? Say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need. Do you want to tell me something? I said the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here. If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. They write him. Atreus. Forget it. They write him so Bye. well. Their relationship too. Like him as a child character specifically, they handle very very well. The light. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. Fuck yes! I'm so happy they just talked that In out. Light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? They're really insistent about having Atreus constantly suggest exploration to you. Like, any time you complete a major story beat, Atreus will say something like that, like, "Hey, maybe we can uh, go explore instead of doing this thing that we're that we set out to do." Either way, I'm really happy with how that exchange goes and where that's placed. You're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Indri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. What speaks to you? 
Hey, that's one of our first side quests. You're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm with priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Be seeing ya. Uh, one of many side quests to come. Uh, of course, we are not going to be indulging in that or any major off the beaten path exploration for a while. All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. The boy is Deanna Troy, which must mean that his mother and Kratos' wife is Loxana Troy of Betazoid. Wait, was that the race or the planet? Betazoids. Ah, there it was the race. Betaz, there we go. No, but for real, he has some kind of tremendous empathic power. Which is incredible for the son of Kratos to have. The god of empathy. <laughs> Takes after his mother, most likely. We have the light to Midgard. And we'll travel once again, using the Realm Travel Room, uh, this time back to Midgard, which... Oh, forgot we can just hit Triangle and go right back to Midgard. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. From another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. And another side quest from the other brother. Again, we are going to be taking care of that much later. But eventually, we will get around to it. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. 
Are we going to the Black Breath or exploring? Your choice. For now, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever else there is to do. Check the description for links. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.